Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Simon. Welcome to another reaction to The Bad Batch, the final season. Um, as always, if you haven't, please do go check out my Star Wars channel. It's called Simon Talks Star Wars. I'll pop a link in the chat, or should say the comments, and the description down below. Um, making lots of videos at the moment, lots of interesting topics, mostly around The Bad Batch at the moment. So, uh, a few theories going on there right now. Um, but yes... We had an excellent episode last week. Um, it ended on a bit of a cliffhanger with, you know, Crosshair coming back into contact with Hunter and Wrecker. And they really did draw out the tension and left us, you know, sort of sitting here having to wait another week to find out what was going to happen. Um, I think there's going to be a very uncomfortable atmosphere, at least for this episode, you know, as they kind of learn to coexist with one another once again and learn how to accept crosshair back into the group i think omega is going to be a massive influence here um, because you know you might find that the the once open and loving brothers of crosshair are probably not so loving and accepting of him now um after you know all of his rejections when they've tried to save him uh, you know his kind of extremism towards the empire um, and his, you know, inability to kind of see the bigger picture. You know, good soldiers follow orders. That's what he used to say. Um, but, you know, I think they will let him back in the group. And so the episode's called The Return. I can only assume it's The Return of Crosshair. Everyone's going to be sitting there and thinking, oh, it's going to be a Sarge Ventress. It's going to be someone else. But I think it's just, it's a very direct and plain title. You know, it's Crosshair has returned. It is the return of the prodigal son. He's back with the group. Um, now we just need Echo as well, you know, to come back from his mission with Rex. I don't know what he and Rex are up to, but um, I've got a feeling that, you know, I mean, we're definitely going to see them later on in the season. We know Rex, at the very least, is in this season, and it would be very strange for Echo not to be. But I don't know. It just leaves me with an uneasy feeling about Echo's future, um, given that he's not around constantly. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see the fallout. We're going to have bounty hunters, you know, on their tail. We're going to have all of this tension going on. You know, so where did the group go from here? Now that they've saved Omega and Crosshair. So, uh, I'm going to jump in and watch. Zuko is ready to watch, although he looks a bit sleepy. Are you a bit sleepy there? Are you comfortable? He's sitting on my spare chair with my fro that I normally wear when it's very cold. And he's just loving life. He's just very comfortable. He's made a bed out of it. Normally, I push that out of view because it doesn't look very tidy but uh i can't move it because it's it's his it's his now so yes living a life of luxury aren't we buddy <laughs> anyway let's jump in and watch the next episode i can't remember if that bunny has got an actual name but she is back home and that look at that jumper i love the intricate design and bloody hell the way they've animated it that looks like a wool jumper better than ever delivery from Shep and Liana another one <laughs> Shep and so are we from Pabu again there's little mentions of Pabu that Where's make me fear for that place he wasn't in the ship when we woke up Oh, they back, they're back on Pabu. Okay. That makes sense how they got through that quickly. <laughs> AZ. <laughs> he's, he's using him as target practice. And you can tell he's still not quite... Yeah. Reading the environment. Yeah. And knowing when you've got eyes on you. <laughs> I love the idea that she will become like an amalgamation of they all trust me. of the Bad Batch. Yeah, like in all their skills. But you will have to talk to them. There he is. He could really do of a tan. You know, his skin is almost translucent. Get it online, you should be able to pull more intel on Tantus. It could have schematics, entry points, 
Maybe even the so they are going to go back to save the clones. Encryption will be a problem. Especially so they might go down to the vaults. Thanks, guys. Thanks for that reminder. Plugging it into an Imperial terminal will bypass the encryption. Crosshair, Echo, and I will go to this remote facility. Rekka and Omega, you stay here. Yep. Finally together and you Leaving the you kids behind. <laughs> we just got you back. You are still a kid. I'm older than you are. <laughs> Little brother. That's crazy. Oh, is it his old armor? My old armor. Yes. He hasn't put any weight on, you know. With the old Republic symbol. This is the base where he killed the lieutenants, isn't it? Minimal life signs, if any. I forget the name of the planet. Yeah. Oh boy. This is the place where his journey changed. <laughs> it's good to see him back in that armor. He didn't think to warn us about these raiders before. Now <laughs> they were all dealt with. And how do you know that? Take a guess. Yeah, he dealt with them. Just following orders. <laughs> oh, Batcha. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, that's the the helmet from the clone he was helping. I recognize the wrappings. Yeah. Trauma. God, the music here is so nice. Oh no. Immediately. There's a rumbling. Yeah, I mean, high frequency sensors, they're not going to keep out humans. They're going to be keeping out something bigger. Something more, uh, Where are you going? Animalistic. To check the perimeter. I know you. There's more you're not telling us. And I'm but it's not waiting. devious. It's it's personal. Start talking, Crosshair. It's trauma. What did you do to finally get on the Empire's bad side? Betray them, like you did with us? Oh, he's gonna he's gonna, it's gonna come down to fisticuffs if they're not careful. Tell me what changed. What happened, Crosshair? Oh dear. See what I said? Fisticuffs. You ignored it. You let Omega be taken to Tantus. Oh, he's not going to like that. What she did because, because of you. you. Oh, that, that's not what you want to be doing. Because she escaped with my help, not yours. There it goes. Get on the ship, boys. Oh, that's a worm. That's a worm. Uh, maybe we want to power back up them sensors, boys. You know what the perimeter sensors are meant to keep out. Yeah. Let's hope it doesn't eat the ship. Not alone. We'll do it together. Huh. You sure about that? I'll spot you yep. from the tower. Then let's they get both to need to get over some apart. emotional issues. Meanwhile, someone should be getting in the ship and getting it in the air. Oh! Come on, Crosshair. 
be honest, I'm not sure anything less than a direct shot in the mouth. There you go. Because it's got a thick skin. Does make you wonder, why did the Empire build a base on these planets? You know? The Rebels did it because they had no choice. It might have been an old Republic base, you never know. Boom. Yeah, you just trap it inside otherwise, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. When you got a grappling hook, some rope, anything? Oh. Oh dear. There you go. You're just a big stupid worm now, afraid of scary noises. Go on, you go. <laughs> well, nothing like a little near-death experience to help with the bonding. Oh, he's giving him a hug. They always work it out. I don't even see any blood this time. That's progress. Hunter. He's going to open I, up. I thought I knew what I was getting into with the Empire. Nobody really understood what was happening back then. Nope. I've done things. I've made mistakes. And who knows? There just might be hope for us yet. A new hope. Or well, everything will go to shit and you will all die. Which is just as likely, given this is the last season. And again, that damn scavenger bed. There's an omen. So the sun always decides to come out, you know, just as... Uh, I'm wrapping things up. It's that time of the year where the sun's really low in the sky and because this is first thing in the morning, it hits that window nice and bright. But yeah, what a great episode. Um, again, the foreboding, the kind of... I, I feel like it's a bad omen. You know, that, that kind of scavenger bed. It's as if to say there's a, still bad things to come in the future for the Bad Batch. And, uh, you know... There is, they're trying to underpin this message of hope, um, you know, that the group have got better days yet to come. You know, they're going to go and rescue all their brothers, they're going to fight back against the Empire, and they're going to live happily ever after. And I just, I just get the feeling that is not on the cards for this group, at least not most of them. Like I say, my belief is that Omega is the only safe member of the group right now. And, uh, you know, there's, I think there is some foreshadowing um about the potential fate. Like I don't think Crosshair is gonna make it. I think Crosshair is gonna sacrifice himself at some point. You know, it it's the logical thing. It's the ultimate kind of redemption for him. Um, you know, after all that he's been through and all that he's done. But I like that they addressed, you know, his trauma kind of directly in that first episode back. Um it surprised me that they kind of skipped the initial reunion altogether. Um, you know, we kind of just woke up on Pabu, presumably the next day, and, you know, their initial, you know, meeting was glossed over, but clearly, you know, there were tensions, things hadn't been quite, you know, forgiven, and, um, you know, Omega's kind of caught in the middle of it all, and, you know, there's, there's a bit of, there's a bit of sort of bonding in this episode over that near-death experience and it's kind of what they needed to kind of remind each other who they were fighting for and who they were and again the episode looked bloody beautiful you know it's it's just it's little things that i'm noticing it's like that opening shot uh, omega's you know sort of wool cardigan that she was wearing the details on it are so fine they are so you know well done 
And then, you know, in other shots, you know, Pabu in particular, there's always a great, you know, kind of vibe from a tropical island. And, you know, I'm noticing more and more that they're able to separate the foreground and the background, you know, better because they're able to use more of the focusing. Um, you know, they're able to make things look more defined in the foreground than in the background. Um, and it just shows you how far technology has come to the point where, you know, I almost think that animation is better than the volume. Uh, you know, I notice the volume more than I do animation because the volume still can't quite get that, you know, at least in big open landscapes, it can't quite get the uh, the focus right. Whereas in animation, I think obviously there's a level to it where you think, oh, okay, it's because it's supposed to look a little bit animated, so your brain kind of accepts it. Whereas, you know, when it's something like the volume, you're expecting it to look realistic, and so you notice it when it doesn't, or at least I do, because um, I've got a brain that acts like that. But, um, you know, again, the production levels on this show are absolutely amazing. The The score in this episode was great. The, uh, the moment where Crosshair was picking up the helmets... You know, there was such a, a somber soundtrack there. Um, you know, you really felt the heaviness that went with all of his regrets. You know, and, and again, just those little reminders, just those little bits of associating, you know, his trauma. He hasn't forgotten. Um, you know, and even the most ardent and disciplined of people can suffer from, you know, the likes of PTSD. And so I like that they kind of made him face that head on you know and it helped him it helped him sort of bond with the group a bit more but you know you can see now that they are going to go and help the other clones they're going to want to break them out that's going to lead them back at some point to tantis it might lead them to the vault it might let us find out who who is down there what's going on exactly um you know so i i am hopeful that there's a hell of a lot more to go this season um, revolving around the Tantus facility. That seems to be the end game for this show. It's all about what is going on there, saving the clones, and maybe building up that base of a rebellion. You know, it's it's being very contained at the moment, because in previous seasons we've gotten the points of view of, you know, the likes of Crosshair, who was deep in the Empire's plan. We're now, because they're all together, we're getting a much more contained story. So we've got no idea what's going on in the wider galaxy. Um, whereas in previous seasons, we've had a little bit of an inkling. And that makes it a little bit more mysterious. I like it because it means that, hey, the Empire could be coming after them right now. Or they could be doing something even more, you know, kind of devious. But we know that the Bounty Hunters are going to be out there. And again, they are... They reintroduced Pabu... Um, you know, in, in this kind of uh, scene. And, you know, that we know that the Empire ends up on Pabu. And so, again, I've got bad feelings about, you know, what's going to happen there. Because um, it's... It just, this season is going to have a finality to it. And, you know, we, we're going to have to... We're going to have to have some emotional trauma as an audience to go through before that, you know, comes about. So I'm not, I'm not looking, I'm, I, I am looking forward to it and I'm not, because you know, I like Pabu, it's a great location, and it's one of those where I'd like to see it in live action if possible, but at the same time I'm kind of like, is the Empire just going to raise it to the ground because that's where the Bad Batch have been hiding, who knows, but yeah, great episode, um, it did a lot to just, you know, it was a very simple theme, you know, go to a place that Crosshair knows that they can get information from, throw in a big monster, have some, you know, emotional bonding over it. Uh, you know, it's a very simple premise, but it was done very well. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you for the next episode.